Happy Monday, Cancer, and welcome to your tarot reading. We're going to see what's going to go on for you in this upcoming week. Getting the hang of shuffling. I've been practicing shuffling a lot. Okay, let's see what's. Oh, oh, we got some. You are eager to hear the news. Okay, what's going on for cancer this week? We have the Page of Swords. Um, someone might be spying on you, or you might be spying on someone else. Um, let's see. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. So you might be dealing with healing a broken heart. Could be a third party situation going on here. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So, um, I feel like there was possible fire sign. Uh, so I think Sagittarius, Aries, um, Leo, and, or it could just be somebody with a lot of fire energy was being kind of uh, domineering towards you, aggressive maybe, and we have the nine of wands, more uh, fire energy, um, I feel like you are definitely, you definitely had some struggle with this uh, fire energy. more is in store this week for cancer. We have the king of wands. Yeah, you definitely have some fire sign in your life. I'm guessing it's a male, a male fire sign. Um, he's very passionate, very, um, very aggressive, direct, um, yeah, and you might be dealing with um, some fighting with him. Could have to do with this broken heart here. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords, same kind of vibe going on with the Three of Swords. Um, you felt kind of trapped, and um, but I feel like since they're both in the reverse, you're getting out of that situation. You're getting out of that um, trapped, heartbroken vibe. And then we have Four of Swords in reverse, so. Um, it's telling me you need to take some time out to really think to yourself um, what is your heart really want. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So that could be, mean an abundant new beginning, um, possible financial prosperity. Although, since this seems to be more about, I see this reading more about passion than love. I mean, there's no real cups here. Um, I see there's a lot of miscommunication and a whole lot of passion in this um, relationship. So, um, yeah, we'll see if we get any cups in a little bit here. We got, oh, we did get a cup. This is the Ten of Cups. It's in reverse. So you might be feeling like um, you're... You're having a difficult time creating this like stable, like family loving environment that you want with this person. 
You know, that's next to the Ace of Pentacles. I see that that could change, though. Okay. I'm going to move on to the Mermaid Tarot deck. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. So I see this as you trying to offer your heart to this person. This person is not receiving it very well. Um, what I'm thinking here is this person might just want like a sexual relationship with you since I'm seeing a lot of wands here. And you might, yeah, here we have the King of Cups. I see that as your energy. Um, since it is a water sign, um, you could be a same-sex couple since we had two kings here. Or, I mean, this could be his energy too, but um, maybe he has both fire and water in his chart. But, um, I'm, I'm going to have to pull some more cards before I can really decipher if that's your energy or his energy. I see that as your energy trying to give him love. And perhaps you're just... Um, This is just the masculine side of you. Or you could be same sex, like I said. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll take this one right here. Uh, four of Wands. So you're looking towards marriage. You want, you want to marry this person. Um, oh, oh, we got them backwards. I see you as wanting to marry this person. You want to settle down. What I'm seeing here is you want to offer them love. You want to offer them your heart and get married and settle down. And this person is more of like a player and just wants to enjoy the, um, the fun of sex and not commit to anything yet. This person is definitely not looking to commit um, to anything yet. Okay. We got one here. Um, yeah, that's going to totally hurt you that he's not ready to commit. And yeah, you're just going to feel heartbroken that you're trying to give him your heart, but he's not ready to commit to you. And there's... I don't think there's really anything you can do about it. He has to make the decision himself when he's ready to actually settle down and um, you're going to feel like it's totally unfair. But you know what? Yeah. You're still going to feel that passion for him, though. You know what I would say? Even though you are you want to give him your heart, and even though you want to, like, you want this marriage with him, I would say just keep, keep the, keep the, um, keep having fun. Because that's all he really wants right now is fun, and maybe he will realize how much he really loves you. Like, we'll see more what it says here, but. 
I think uh, you need to see that clarity. Like, what do you really want from this relationship? Do you really want to marry him, or do you want to just have fun with him? Um, right now, it seems like he really wants to have fun with you. Um, let's see if we have any. Okay, I'm going to move on to the Mermaid and Dolphin Oracle cards. have positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations to avoid negativity. So yeah, I feel like his, um, his energy is making you feel kind of negative. Like he's not necessarily being negative. He just, he just wants to have fun. And that makes you feel bad because you want more than just fun. You want love. You want the whole, you want the whole, um, with the whole thing and he just wants to he just wants to mess around so um you need to surround yourself with positive energy instead of um maybe getting caught up in your emotions um healing heart you're a powerful healer keep up the great work yeah you have a great heart that's why that's why you want to share it that's why you want to give it to him because you have this wonderful heart and you want to give it to somebody, but he's just not ready for it yet. Waves of prosperity, new abundance, and exciting opportunities wash over you now. Um, I see this kind of connects with the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, even though it seems like things might be hard, you might, you might eventually get something out of this relationship. It's just, you're going to need patience. Self-employment, you're a born entrepreneur, entrepreneur in your business and surrounded with magical opportunities. Actually, being that that's next to ways of prosperity and you did get, get the Ace of Pentacles, you might be dealing with some financial opportunity here with um, self-employment. Set your sights higher, increase your standards and expect more of yourself. Don't settle. Yeah. So... If you actually want um, to, if you actually want to have a marriage, like you're looking for marriage here, that's what I'm seeing. You're looking for marriage with this person. Um, if you actually want it, you need to set your standards higher, and um, you know, tell him that I don't want to just. I don't want to just be your fuck buddy. Um, I want more. And they're just telling you to wait on that. Because he's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. But if, um, if what you truly want is marriage, you need to wait and slowly, slowly increase your standards to expect more for yourself. Okay, now I'm going to pull from uh, the Universe Oracle cards. several here. The moment I embrace the peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly work. Yeah, you're trying too hard to 
settle down with this person and that's not what the other person wants. So you just gotta surrender and let things go with the flow and then the universe can work in your favor. My capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need. When I am ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when it, I am lost. Okay, that's just, um, that's kind of um, connecting with this card with me. So um, it's telling me that you need to um, know when it is that you need to set your standards, set your boundaries, and tune in to um, divine timing to communicate your truth. Obstacles are detours in the right directions. So yeah, you might be feeling like you're facing some obstacles with this relationship, but it's just, um, it's just, obstacles are placed in your path so that you become stronger. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that I focus on that what I focus on will grow. So yeah, don't don't feel bad that you want to settle down, that you want this um, that you want this commitment from him. I mean, don't apologize for it. And the more you focus on it, the more likely it's going to happen. Um, but just be patient and wait. got some beautiful cards here. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I chose again and I chose love. I see this kind of connecting with um, some of these negative cards here is you chose the fear of not being able to get your desires and love and then you, you need to choose again and choose to just love just love no commitments no um you know just that unconditional love oneness is my true nature always remember that you are one i honor how i want to feel honor your feelings pay attention to your feelings i do whatever it takes to get closer to my consciousness and that's interesting because it's by weight and the hanged man so i feel like that kind of means you need to take that moment of clarity to wait to be patient. Um, it's just not time yet for you to commit. And then I'm going to pull some charms here. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. We got both the key and the lock. That is real cool. That's the first time. They don't go together. But, but symbolically they do. Symbolically the key and the lock go together. Mm -mm. I see this as he is unlocking something inside you. And whether that is unlocking your heart, I mean, it should be unlocking your heart, but it's, it's deeper than that. It's unlocking the way you think, the way you think about yourself and the way you think about life. He's making you more mature and a better person. Okay, we got some cards here. We have the Four of Cups. So I feel like you're 
looking in the wrong direction on how you should go about um, getting this love you want. You're looking at what you don't have instead of what you do have in this love. And then we have um, the Four of Swords again. Didn't we get that before? Yeah, it's right there. Definitely saying that you need that time out. I mean, here we have it with the Hangman, Four of Swords, and Wait. You need that time out to wait, um, find your inner clarity. Um, then we have the Two of um, Two of Rods. I don't think we had that one before. Um, that's just telling me you might be in a long distance relationship. There might be some separation between you two. And we have the high priestess that's telling me you need to be more intuitive, focus on your intuition, let your intuition guide you. We have um, the silver flower that's telling me something might happen in the spring for you. Let's see if we get any more clues about springtime. I don't know, it's just saying there's something about spring coming up here that might have some significance to you. And then we have a little teddy bear here. Um, I'm getting the idea that you guys cuddle a lot. You guys love cuddling. like. And here we have cuddling here, kind of cuddling there. I see you guys as big cuddlers. Well, um, yeah, I, I think, I think you just need to take things slow. I mean, you might be eager to settle down in this relationship, but I think you just need to take things slow and, um, learn to enjoy the moment and just have some fun with him and, um, and then you, you'll be able to settle down, you know, once you figure out that you're the right, you're right fit for each other. Well, that's all I have for you, Cancer. Be sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how this resonates with you. Um, thank you very much. Have a great Monday.